Ever since the Risa Tisa situation, we should have already known that we about to start getting unlimited people online telling all their darkest business. This story is not any shorter. So I'm not going to lie. It's a longer video. So if you got a little time on your hand, just grab a little popcorn, chill, relax, get you something to drink, get something to smoke, and listen to this story, y'all. I blame Risa Tisa for this, but listen up. I've been quiet for a real long time, and yes, my hair look crazy, breaking out, getting a little skinny because unfortunately I'm pregnant and the pregnancy is doing me bad. But I have a story time for y'all, so tune in for And when I say it's going to be a long story, it's going to be a long story, so yeah. So y'all remember last year I was dating an old dude. I don't need to say his name. Y'all seen the pictures. We was really in love or in lust. I don't know. Let him tell it. It was lust. Me, I loved him for real. I still got love for him. It's crazy to say that after a man get you pregnant and don't want to claim your child, right? Okay. Anyway, he was actually my supervisor at my job and we started dating and we got in a relationship real quick. However, I never knew that he had a family. He had two kids and... His big mama was living in Texas to get away from him because he was such a bad person. I never knew this. I never knew that they had a house together. So when I was sleeping at his house in that bed, that was their bed. I never knew. I never knew this. When I met him, he said he only had a daughter. He didn't even have a son. He wasn't even claiming a son that they got together. So we're going to go down the line of when he started claiming his son. And it will be because of me because I don't play them type of games when it comes to kids. I used to post little subs and stuff and break up with him on Twitter, but he didn't have a Twitter. But for some reason, he always knew what I posted on Twitter. And I was confused. Like, how do he be knowing? So something told me, like, hit the baby mama up and ask her what's tea, what they got going on. And I really hit her up. And I asked her, like, hey, what's going on with you and your baby daddy? I'm just trying to figure something out, you know? Um, She told me never hit to hit her up again and yada, yada, yada. And, okay, cool. I never did. You know how man is. They He made it seem like he did not like her. He did not mess with her. He took care of her all his life and she didn't have no job. She was just living off of him and he kicked her out. Like he was bad mouthing her real bad. And I was just like, dang, she's a horrible parent. Like she's a horrible person too. Like, you know, that's how he made it seem. She just up and left, took the kids to Texas. But it's cool because he's going to get the kids back and he's not worried about her. Like he just down there just didn't like her at all. I'm like, all right, cool. I ain't worried about it. He don't like her. He with me. She all the way out there in Texas. Like he ain't worried about her. Like whole time he was texting her literally like, I want you and my family to come back, yada, yada, yada. But I ain't know none of this. Now. It's time for his kids to come out here. We're going to just fast forward. I ain't even going to go through all the drama. His kids finally come out here from Texas. Um, before his son came out here, when I, used to be, when I used to be at his house, he had a little G on the top of the door. He has a three-bedroom. I'm like, who does that G stand for? Mind y'all, his son name starts with a G. I'm not saying his son name. He was just like, oh, guest room. Like, you know? I'm like, guest room? Like, his son name starts with a G. Like, But he was not claiming that son. Anyways, the son got sent out here. Um, Christmas time came around. I bought his kids a whole lot of stuff. iPads, all type of stuff. He lied to the baby mama. He lied to the baby mama and told, him, told her that he bought all that stuff. I bought all that stuff. He ain't buy not one thing for them kids for Christmas. All that came from me. Bam. So his kids is out here. His kids is at my house or whatever. You know, one time the mama FaceTimes and the kids is at my house. And she's asking the kids, like, who house are y'all at? And they finally said my name, like, Kiara, such and such. So she gets on a um, FaceTime and she real hella cool. She like, hi, Kiara. Like, I'm like, hey, girl. Like, you know, your kids are over here. Me and her started having conversation and I ended up taking her number down. And me and her started talking. And when I say we and her started talking, we end up being like this. And I'm serious. Well, I mean, to me, we was real cool. She would call me every day. I would call her every day. Hey, what you doing? What the kids got going on? You know what I'm saying? It came to a point where... He even put my name on the list to pick his kid up from school. She was comfortable with that. She was okay. She was okay with me picking up her son whenever her son called me. Like, we was cool. It was cool. She's like, well, you're the girlfriend. You're the one that's around my kids. I'm cool with it. You feel me? Me and her end up talking every single day on the phone. What you doing, girl? What you doing, girl? I'm having a bad day. Oh, I'm having a bad day, too. Oh, my God. I can't wait to meet you. You need to move out here to Texas. You know, like, that cool. Like, damn, is y'all best However, she communicating with her baby daddy, like, why you didn't tell me that the kids was going to go to uh, Kiara house? He's like, they, that, that she don't, they don't be over there like that whole time. Kids was really over here like that. No, they just, that was just one time, like, never again. Like, you know, he making it seem like he just, I'm just nobody. Like, yeah, I don't even talk to her like that. My kids will never be over there. Like, I'm just, and she know he lying the whole time because me and her talk every single day. Her son was over here every day. Her son was over here every day and she was okay with it. Okay with it. I'm taking her son to get food, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking her son to school. I'm picking her son up from school. While her baby daddy is going to work, I'm doing the stepmama duties, you feel me? 
being a good one to the kids as i should bam me and her start getting closer through facetime and over the phone she started telling me about her booze that she'd met in texas she got all these booze and i'm telling her like you know i'm happy for you or whatever i still be talking to your baby daddy he be taking me out he be lying sometimes now she's getting in my head this is where the manipulation game starts she's like he's a bad person like he still be trying to talk to me he told me that he'll leave all of y'all for me like she's sending me screenshots and he really is saying like i'll leave all these for you like you know what i'm saying really trying to talk to her she's like he's horrible that's why i moved and left him i would suggest that you believe him too like don't talk to him like and i'm telling her like I ain't gonna lie to you like that sounds good and i don't want to talk to him but i'm just so madly in love with him like i just literally just can't stop talking to him right now like i'm not ready but i'm trying so it, it came days where i just would never talk to him like all day and i would just talk to her like i did good today scott i didn't talk to him you know what i'm saying like um i had ended up getting pregnant last year or whatever and she convinced me to you know unalive the baby she was like if i was you i wouldn't keep that baby like you already see how he is with his kids and how he is with me he treat me bad why would you want to i'm like you right so me and him went to the clinic and alive the baby we didn't you know what i'm saying i was done i'm like yeah this is this is my son this now i need to leave him alone we actually did break up but we was still living in that you know how that is when you break up with somebody but you still be talking to him so that's how that's where that was I ended up hitting her up one day and sending her a long message like, hey girl, I just think that I'm disturbing your peace and you was really at peace before I came along. I feel like you and him are starting to argue a little bit more because of the things that me and you have conversations about is making you feel a type of way because he does certain things for me that he never did for you, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, maybe I need to give you a break because I'm not ready to leave him alone yet and I don't want to look like the bad person. Like, I'm just being your friend and I'm still talking to your baby daddy. She's like, do I need to come out there and come do something with you so that you can get your mind off of him and get your mind on me like really trying to like butter me up to stop talking to him you know what i'm saying anyways three weeks later bam i'm pregnant again i'm pregnant again y'all i'm pregnant right now this is the pregnancy that i'm pregnant with right right now i didn't tell her that i was pregnant again i never talked about it me and her just slowly drifted and stopped talking you know what i'm saying i was just like maybe i need to stop talking to her because she's not getting it i stopped talking to her she started feeling some type of way she started telling her baby daddy like i don't want her around my son no more i feel like it's being confrontational like she has a problem with me yada 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 we started arguing i hit her up i'm like why do you not want me around your son no more you know that i love your son genuinely so much she's like if me if it ever came to a point to where me and you wasn't cool no more i told him that i didn't want you around my kids no more that's hurtful she know i loved her kids she ended up blocking her my daughter off of her daughter iPad, all type of stuff. I bought that iPad. How are you blocking it? You know what I'm saying? So, bam. Christmas time coming around, December. Christmas coming around. And she's like, yeah, I'm about to come out there and I'm about to come see my son or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because I miss my son. It's been a whole year. She was in Texas and she had left the son out here um, with the baby daddy, which I was helping too. So, I would say she left him with us. Anyways, um yeah so christmas time came around she's like yeah i'm coming out there and i'm gonna be at my baby daddy house and i'm asking him like what y'all got planned like you never told me that he's like no she ain't coming out here with me like no she's like i'm coming out there i'm gonna be at his house but i'm not gonna be with him like i'm not worried about him she acting like she not worried he acting like he never had a conversation with her about that we even got on three-way and he was like no i never said that i missed you i never said that she was coming to my house i never said none of that like he really talking to her like that like that on the phone like this and her she's like all right whatever Mind you, at this time, he know I'm pregnant or whatever. So he did, like, show up to the hospital before, um, you know, ask me what I want to do. He did, you know, it was basically, like, whatever I want to do. It's just in the air. Like, I'm pregnant now. He just, like, he got to deal with his consequences. You know what I'm saying? He know what he was doing. Um, but me and him just never talked about it like that. Uh, bam. It come Christmas. The girl comes out here. I stop hearing from him. They, like, in L.A. or something. She been deleting me as a friend. She been block me, all of this stuff. I'm like, what the fuck I do to her? Um, tell me why the girl didn't move back out here. She moved back with him and brought her kids back, checked them out of school, and checked their kids into my daughter's school. Like, what a life, right? So you did all of that for me to stop talking to him just for you to get back with him? And now you're supporting him. And you know that he has a baby on the way with me. And you don't want him to be a father. And then between this story, it was a whole lot of messy stuff going on, like... If I sit on the phone with her, she would literally go back and tell him everything I was saying the whole time. I'm thinking me and her is cool. He'd have a conversation with me like, yeah, I'm just not going to talk to you no more because why did such and such say that you said? It was like a lot of he said, she said. He was even being messy, telling me the stuff that she would say. They was both just being messy. Like, if y'all wanted to be together, y'all could have just did that. But you ain't have to try to act like you was my friend the whole time. You didn't come out here and then move literally with him, block me, put in, 
block me, all this. And now on her bio on Instagram is come lurk Buki and get hurt, all this stuff. What happened? Why me and you beefing? Be with your baby daddy. That's what you wanted to do from the get. You didn't want me to talk to him. You tried to manipulate me, make it seem like he was such a bad person. He is. And now you right there with him. You said he was a bad dad. Now, I'm finally trying to have a conversation with him, like, about the baby. He's like, yeah, just put me on child support because I don't want to be a part of it. Like, now you don't want to be a part of it? And, oh, you over there supporting it, my girl? When I wasn't supporting him, not playing, taking care of his kids, I was making sure that them kids was at school every single day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, his son, because she let the son out here. Let me not say kids because the other the daughter was in Texas with her. I was making sure I was doing step mommy duties. I was not playing with him. You better start claiming your kids. My nigga, you keep saying that you only got one kid. You have two kids. You know what I'm saying? When I said, if you know me, you knew that I loved that little boy like he was mine. Like, but you over there supporting him not being a father to the to the baby that he finna have right now with me? Me and him could co-parent because I don't want him. And that's the truth because you told me several times, I don't want him, I don't want him, I don't want him. I'm going to put some screenshots in there so y'all can see how many times she tried to act like she was genuinely just fucking with me and she didn't want she didn't want him. She damn near was in love with me. She damn near wanted to be my girlfriend. And that's the story of dating a narcissist, a cheater, a liar, a manipulator, and a motherfucker that has a baby mama that's madly still in love with him. These Don't date baby daddies because they baby mama still be madly in love and they would do anything, anything. And the saddest part about all of this, y'all, is when I terminated that pregnancy, I was traumatized. I was crying. Like, I never did that before. Literally, I have never been pregnant since I had my daughter. My daughter's about to be seven. I have never been pregnant. So, like, terminating that pregnancy, I was crying, crying, crying. Like, when I got pregnant, like, again, right after, like, I was just like, I'm not terminated again. Like, I mean, that's on me. I'm a grown woman at the end of the day. I should have known better from the first time. I mean, but I mean, him too, boo. I mean, we both. If you didn't want a baby that bad, you would have strapped up. And if I didn't want one, I wouldn't let you do it. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. I'm pregnant. And it's so crazy because when I was going through my journey of cutting him off and never talking to him no more, his son will always call me and something would just pull me back. Not to him, but to the son. Like, the son would be like, here, can I come over? I miss you. I miss KK. I'd be like, hey, I'm about to come get um, your son or whatever. He wants to hang out. He'd be like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't messing with you, but I was messing with your son. You feel me? Um, me and him was over, but I was still messing with his son. I told everybody, like, I can never cut him off. Everybody kept saying, if you want to completely leave him alone and want to have peace, you have to leave everything that comes with him alone. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I would never cut his son off. Tell me why they cut my daughter off, though. Cut off. She had no access to his kids, no access to him. She was, she literally loved him like a fucking father. She always asked about him, and I'd be telling her, don't ask about him. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? They blocked their they blocked my daughter from their kids ipads and all that what she do why she a part of it let the kids talk they love each other like siblings for real she made it seem like to the world like i was just harassing her i was being a bully after we stopped being cool literally she know what she did literally she's a manipulator like you was literally sitting here telling your baby daddy everything that i would vent to you about even if i just found me a new boo or something and i had a boo at my house she would literally go tell him everything he knew everything she knew what she was doing so when i started coming at her real foul like now you was playing on my top this whole time she literally was like i'm suing you like um the police is going to get like when i say y'all she was saying all of this stuff and i'm just like she really making it seem like i'm really bothering her and i'm bullying her you know what you did you know what you did period after she see this video she's literally going to make a thousand posts about how i just am so won't leave her alone i just be bop this is what this is what they do and it's just so much more and as you can see in those screenshots that i uploaded basically um one of the screenshots she was telling me how she had a dream about me like um she never had a dream about a girl like this before and literally like it was kind of like we was in a relationship like being very obsessive like everything she was saying was very obsessive you know what i'm saying that's what it was giving um i'm like dang you had a dream about me girl i had a dream about you too girl whole time i was lying i just wanted to hear the dream so bad that i'm like girl i had a dream about you too what was your dream that's the dream and then in the other screenshot she basically was just saying how um she had to get up and just really leave him and she know that i'm really trying and i'm strong like you know and i was letting her know like i just can't do it like i'm just so sad every day like you know about him like and she was literally just in my corner like i'm in your corner whatever you want to do i understand i've been through it all of that like acting like she was really like whole time you right there laid up with him right now whole family
you can wait for me to leave him alone. And I'm happy that I did because I don't want nobody like that in my corner, not you or him. And y'all already tuning in real quick with comments and questions and stuff like that. As far as um, my pregnancy, a termination is not an option. But thank you for that suggestion. I will not be terminating my pregnancy. I'm not having a baby to keep a man at the end of the day. I want my baby for me. Like, I want my baby. It has nothing to do with him at this point. Whether he want to be a father or he don't want to be a father, that's on him. But I'm going to do me. So termination is not a part of the plan. I did that already. If y'all watch part two you would see that I already did that. Or it's probably in part one. I've already did that. We did that one time. I'm not doing it again. Like, that's not just something that I'm just okay with. Like, I was traumatized from doing that the first time. I'm not doing it again. So that's not an option. But thank y'all for that. Also, it's a way a lot more to the story. But I really just cannot go deep detail for detail. Because, like, I will be having 85 parts of a TikTok on my story. So if y'all have questions, go ahead and ask the questions. And then I'll just answer with a video. However, it was very messy. He did talk bad about her very bad but that's what men do at this point i've learned that because he was talking very bad about me as well to her but um he talked so bad about her he said she was a bum um she wasn't making no money while she was out here he kicked her out he wasn't sleeping with her like that son that he had didn't even he didn't think that it belonged to him because she had chlamydia while she was pregnant and he know that he didn't give it to her so where did she get it from like he was just talking real bad about her and she was talking very bad about him too so i believe that they was over like i'm like they're done they do not like each other like at this point, they don't like each other, but they need to co-parent. Like, I used to be telling him, like, you don't think you could talk to her about it? Like, he act like he didn't want to talk to her. I wanted them to be cool. He act like he didn't want to, and she talked so bad about him as well. I don't understand how they together at this moment. I don't. Oh, and the things that she was saying about him was crazy because I was telling her, like, yeah, we celebrated his 28th birthday. She then cut me off and said, girl, he is not 28. He's lying to you about his age. Like, she literally was exposing everything to me about him. Like, girl, he's really 31. Like, she was showing me the birth certificate of her kids. Like, look, he signed my kids' birth certificates. We celebrated his 28th birthday together. She was sending me videos of them. So, basically, he lied to me about his age and all this. I'm in a whole relationship with this man. He lied to me about his age, his middle name. He used to tell me that his ID was a fake fake ID whole time that was his real ID with his real name it was like I was just dating a liar and she exposed him bad like girl no this is the truth about him this is the way he is he's a drunk yada yada it was just like and at the end of the day I don't need nobody judging me you live and you learn like I'm learning every day you know what I'm saying don't act like I have never been in love with somebody and just period like we're all women don't go there with me I'm living and I'm learning and this is this is my truth I don't wish this on anybody. I don't think that it's funny. Anybody that's going through it, that's being love bombed or dating a narcissist that's still dealing with other women. Like, I don't wish this on anybody. Nobody at all. I'm not hurting. I will say that. But shit, it is what it is. I wish it was different. I'm going to say that. I'm not hurting. I'm not crying. I'm not sad. I'm not depressed. I'm doing better. And the only thing that I'm going through right now is that my pregnancy is horrible. I am literally having this horrible experience with this pregnancy I don't know if this is a sign like you know this is I don't know what it is I'm just going through it with my pregnancy like literally I am always sick and prayers is better than anything but I don't need nobody talking shit on my page like I'm not here for it that's not what I posted the video for period I'm telling my truth and that's just what it And it's not like I literally was just making all this up in my head. He literally would text me this type of stuff and tell me that he's so sorry. And nobody wanted to see us together. Everybody is haters and they just hating on us. And we need to just do us and fix us. He t used to tell me like he could see myself, himself marrying me. Like, yeah, he could see himself having kids with me. Like, it literally just all shifted real quick. But literally, this is what he was on. It was never given delusional. Like, we literally was together. It was never none of that. Like... He was buying me things, and I'm very high maintenance. Nobody's not going to be with me and not going to help me with what I need to be helped with. I don't care if it's rent, my car note, if I want this for my birthday. He was buying me stuff. He was paying for me to go to school, buying me Christian Dior. And you know he's very low maintenance. He don't do materialistic, and he don't spend a lot of money, especially not on women. His baby mama told me that himself. She, he didn't buy me nothing when he was with me. So when I used to tell her that he would buy me stuff, she would get very angry. Like, he literally was in his bag with me. 
and not that it wasn't vice versa. Whatever he did for me, I did the same. Like, we was around each other's family. I, that means nothing no more. Being around people, family, their grandma, their mom, they, they dad, their brothers, that means nothing. Although, to this day, I still talk to his mother. She's very cool. She's genuine. Like, you know, she still, like, checks on me as far as my pregnancy, asks me how the grandbaby doing and stuff like that. But meeting each other, family and shit, don't mean nothing. Like, I'm telling y'all, when I say, like, he was around. My family loved him. Like, my grandma, like, it's just crazy, like, how shit just turns. Like, it be the person that you sleep next to every single day that did literally just be, like, a snake. Like, he is a snake. I'm telling y'all. He's a snake. I'm not even playing, like. And she, his baby mom used to be like, I've been with him for 14, 13 years. I've been going through this. So why would you watch me go through it and then go right back and then sit on social media and play on my top like I'm just a horrible person? Y'all are fucking bad people. Both. What are you willing to do? Thinking that he on his commercial from the fucking Walmart. <laughs> In the screenshots that I posted, you could see that she literally was telling me, like, she's so happy that I have a relationship with her son. Like, just let, she wants her son to spend the night with me tonight because she feel like her son is uncomfortable at his dad's house. Like, this is her talking to me about her son and how she loves me and her son relationship. This coming from her, out of her own mouth. You love the relationship, but as soon as me, you, me and you not cool no more, you don't feel like I need to be around your son. I'm a horrible person. I'm not stable enough to be around your son. But, baby, you was just texting me all this, and you just said that you wasn't even comfortable with him being at his dad's house, and you was ready to come pick him up. Screenshots is there. Screenshots don't lie. This is you. This is her asking me, do I got money plays, and me putting her on to stuff, telling her what I do how I do it, how she can make some money, sending her jobs. She live all the way in Texas. I'm having connects for her in Texas. My sister live out there. I'm like, put her on with a job. She need a job. I'm really genuinely trying to help this girl. And to answer your question, because a lot of people keep asking what kind of made me like, you know, I'm going to keep the baby a second time because the first time I already told you I went through termination the first time. I got pregnant again. That pregnancy wasn't planned. We was just doing what we do best, period. Are we grown? And I'm about to deal with the consequences at this point. I'm not going to keep getting terminations. That shit was traumatizing for me. I'm not going to keep explaining how traumatizing it is. I want you to get pregnant, and I want you to see how it feels to go through a termination. That shit hurts, and that shit eats you up. I regretted that every fucking day until I got pregnant again. I still regret it till this day. I wish I never did that. I'm not having a baby to keep a man. And usually when people do shit like that, it's because he doesn't want to be with me, so I'm not going to have the baby. I don't care if you don't want to be with me. I'm still keeping the baby. And it has, they don't have to have nothing to do with you. That's all me. I'm having a baby because I want to have the baby. Thank you.